What is going on everyone and welcome to my first video on eFootball 2023. We're going to be doing a quick news roundup of everything that they've added, stuff that they haven't added and giving you guys a first look at it. I am working from home today so it is going to be very very nice to get a look at all of this stuff and hopefully you guys can check this out if you're not at your console at the moment. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on. It seems to be more like kind of content and packs. I haven't played a match yet, so I wanted to get a video out to kind of give you a roundup. You can see there, there's legendary managers now coming in as well. There's a couple of nice little additions that I think that they've done to kind of balance the game, and we'll also get into that, but this is me with brand new eyes on it, fresh eyes on it, spotting anything new that I see. So we're going to go through it tab by tab, then we're going to go, going to go into um, as much information as we possibly can. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the video uh, below. We've got a lot of new stuff to get through, but... We're going to start off with the new events. So inauthentic match. And as I said, when you start up this game, uh, first of all, you're just going to have to like get the privacy um, renewal and all that sort of stuff because it is a new season for the new leagues, the new licenses and all that. You pick your team. There's a lot of new teams in it, which we'll get into in a second. Um, and then you'll be just brought into the menu here. Uh, so the new events in the authentic match are back. We have got a Liga BBVAMX challenge event, which is user matches. I kind of like these because it it puts away the superstar teams you know what i mean it's as close to two or three star uh match level and that you can possibly do and sometimes the gameplay is kind of a little bit nice because it's slower the players aren't superstar teams you know or anything like that we've also got the trial match so with this trial match at the moment these are the teams that they have added to this so they've added obviously the two partner clubs there they've added a couple of other teams as well just to kind of round it off but yeah i would like to see them open this up but to be honest with you i think they will add some sort of like league uh tournament type mode for offline um maybe there'll be transfers with it maybe there won't but i do think that they will add that pretty soon maybe in october or maybe around christmas time hopefully with a huge update uh that are coming down the line so that is it for the authentic matches dream team then obviously sees the return of the king no the return of eFootball league um you've also got online quick match and you've got the events again there which are online centric events but there is three for the ai and there is one user matches so again it's the same thing you get 50 football coins for completing that you get a four star nominating contract for that you get a chance deal for the worldwide agent for that and you get a five star nominating contract for that so i think that's pretty decent man i do think that's pretty decent because you can get a free five star player especially if you're starting off you could literally do the starter cup and you could do the spanish league and you could do the national team and it won't take you that long you don't even need to go on and win games online you know you don't so um and i think in this as well you, you don't even need to you just need to complete the challenges in this one here so there's no match conditions all you need to do is accumulate one point three point and five points and they're the reward so i do like that they're kind of looking at that to balance it for free to play players but i genuinely do think they need to expand upon that and then obviously you have your rinsed and repeated eFootball league which with your division will be reset mine's on division nine i think so we're going to be cracking on into that in a couple of minutes so next up then we do have um the contracts right so the contract is obviously the new players and all that as well we've got a couple of changes that i want to let you guys know because i am a bit surprised that they did this um but we will we'll get in, into that in a second but we'll start with the with the special players you've got your worldwide august 25th players so these are the player of the weeks you've actually got some nice players in there you've got mbappe bastoni fatty coleman modric costa harrison Saliba, zaha fight and Karaskela, Karask, Karaskilia. I can't pronounce words, Les. I can't. I'm just desperate at it. So we've got all those. We've also got these boys from the Spanish league. Um, David Silva, it's real saucy, that as far as I know. And then we've got the player transfers. So these are players with a nominating contract. You can get these. So you play the tour event, the starter cup, and then you get your five star. You can actually sign any of these. So I'm going to do a video on that in, in, in a little bit. But yeah, I mean, like Nunes, obviously I check Nunes. Uh, I was going to check him for super sub. I bet, yeah, he doesn't have super sub. I was saying, I bet you he won't have super sub because he is an absolute beast in the game. But he's got 25 levels, lads. I would probably go for him um, if you are looking for a striker that can do it all. He's absolutely unbelievable uh, in the game in eFootball 22. So, yeah, we will be doing a couple of reviews on players as well in that. Um, 
but we'll get into that in a different match. Sterling obviously there, Rudiger obviously there that have joined new teams. Liga BB VAMX, they get a new season kickoff uh, event or player pack as well as the J League, which is the J League is, is ending in 41 days. They're all ending in 41 days, except these two boys here, these two packs there. Then on top of that, we also have the standard player list, which when I was looking at this, um earlier just for like a second i actually noticed that a couple of the players have had price revisions right so sun was three hundred thousand gp if you go over to eFootball db at the moment it's still being updated but sun will be at three hundred thousand gp so i'm gonna have to do a couple of more videos on squad builders and stuff because of the changes in pricing um which i'm surprised with i think some of the players have stayed the same some of the players have gotten less some of the players have gotten more uh, one good example is Oblak. Oblak, I think, was one of the most expensive keepers in the game. And uh, Kimmich is also there as well. So Kimmich was hugely priced as well in the game. Um, but he's been reduced a bit. So I think they're just trying to level the balance playing field a little bit to kind of match the players up with their actual worth in game in terms of if you can get a free player uh, with a nominating contract like Rudiger, you don't really want to go out and spend, you know, like 400, 300,000 on Van Dijk if you get Rudiger for free, you know, so um, I think they're trying to balance that, but we'll check that in another video, lads, I don't want to stay too long on that in this video, because it's more of a news roundup, if you guys are at work and you can't get your console to check yourselves, and then what else do we have, yeah, so we also have just a new season, um, we also have a new season underway kind of information notes here, and again, that just explains everything about the epic players, about the highlight players using nominating contracts. We've gone through that and the campaigns. And then on top of that, we also have the new objectives, the new premium objectives. The new objectives are very simple. There isn't that many of them. There's literally just three, I think, the campaign objectives, uh, which you have here, which is just from playing tour events, challenge events, and the actual eFootball League itself. Career objectives are the same, it just has a new graphic. And then in here, we have our new premium player packs. So these are the club edition packs. We have AC Milan, we have Inter Milan, um, we have Club America, and we have the manager packs. So Cruyff is going to give a boost to midfield players, and he's got 40,000 trainer programs. He's manager pack Cruyff from the 91-92 season. Not too sure what formation he plays yet, but we can check that out on eFootball DB. Cannavaro, 2019. He is going to give a boost to defensive players, as far as I know. You can see there if you press square on the PS5. Uh, de defensive players, and he gives defensive players a 400% in-match experience boost. So if you're looking to upgrade your defenders and you don't have many trainers, these guys are probably worth buying for 300 and 500 coins, respectively. These are 900, so they seem to balance these out again. To be honest with you, lads, I'm not too sure on the actual... Um, I'm not too sure on the player packs for these. I'm going to have to look at them in a little bit more detail and play a few games if I do end up buying them. But let me know if you guys would like to see a review for them um, and we can kind of go from there. And that's pretty much it, lads. I don't want to keep this video too long um, because obviously there is a new lot of new stuff in it. Also as well, yeah, I just spotted that as well, that they have added legends to the eFootball Point shop for free. So you can sign uh, a couple of players here that are new to the eFootball points shop for free, 100% for free, 5,000 eFootball points, and you can get Scolzi, Elber, Inamota, and then these regular players, so Stones, Diaz, Lo Celso, uh, Aspas, Rakitic, and Aspilicueta. So, yeah, look, I mean, again, that's always a positive. I will probably end up buying Scolzi because he's got B form, he's got incredible player skills, he's a United legend from the 98-99 season, um, so he will be worth probably buying if you don't have like that attack and midfielder type player. Uh, I do, but I am going to be starting a new squad. So it'll be interesting to see who I do actually end up buying if I do end up buying somebody out of there. But that is it for me, lads. I'll be back in a minute. Well, in a little bit with a, with a video, um, hoping to go through some of the stuff. We also get all our login. Don't forget to get your login stuff as well. Maintenance finished. Um, there is a couple of issues at the moment. They were saying as well, see below for a list of issues after creating a new game plan displaying the details of a game plan that game plan will be automatically set as the active so you can rename your game plan now and call it whatever you want when creating a new game plan or selecting delete game plan on an inactive game plan pressing cancel will result in an error so again um, these are kind of things that might and might not work we also have a list of update files like an actual 
changes. So they have a new update file is now, av now available and they have a load of stuff here that they have details. So change selectable teams and trial match, renaming and deleting game plans, more filter options for my team players. So they've added dif different things to the search menu, more filter options for contracts, uh, standard player list, the option to select national teams as your base team, checking other users' game plan information under their user details, the buy player bonus stats option under auto pick is available. So that is actually a nice little um, UI change. The AI controlled option for tour event matches, tips for new commands. Uh, you'll be able to just pick a team based on you know whatever bonus that they're doing in the events. And then they have a load of updates and additions. So added the newly licensed Liga MX, Mexico League, updated the season data for leagues around the world, added six new stadiums. The following data has been updated. Player photos and graphics, manager photos, strips, pitch side advertising boards, media backdrops, stadium staff tabards and corner flags, boots, gloves, balls, commentary, music, cinematics and animations, photos and avatar images. So discontinued licenses, Turkish League, Italian League, Italian Domestic Cup and Super Cup, Turkey and Peru national teams, club teams Juve, Cremonese, uh, Lis, Bordeaux, Athletic Paranese, uh, Vasco de Gama and all Turkish league clubs, all Turkish league players and managers, all Turkish national team managers and uh, players, Juventus manager, a couple of different managers there. Um, so that's just the first one. So this is fairly in-depth as to what they're doing. Now, this is what we're going to get into in a second, right? But I'm going to do a different video on this, lads. I'm going to do a different video because there's a lot to get through here. And I want to talk about some of the changes before we go in and play a match. So I'm going to end the video here. This is going to be part one. It's just kind of an overview of everything. And then we're going to get into the gameplay fixes and adjustments because there's a lot of detail here that continues on for a couple of pages. Like, look at all this to go through. And I don't want making this like a 30-minute video. Um, and then obviously there's still loads of bugs that they're ironing out here. So we will start back with that in a minute. Hope you enjoyed this news roundup, lads. Let me know if you want to see anything else. I'll be back with a video quite soon. Peace. Where's my mouse? There we go. Good luck.